carefully listen to what Garcia said. Get on the road and travel. Go around the world and more. It was then that I decided I had to get to Dylan before he ends the tour. Started with a lifetime award with Jack Nicholson as presenter. He played a stirring masters of war. The sky was lit with fire on TV. The Gulf War we all saw. In my heart, then I knew that. I had to get to Dylan before he ends the tour. I caught my eyes in concert. It was at the bottom line. She was so warm and so cordial. Acted like a good friend of mine. She looked me in the eyes and asked me why I tried to get to Dylan before he ends the tour. I always will remember that day in 1993 in New York at the Supper Club. It's given out for free. Responding to his fans with warmth and kindness, and smiling as he walked out of the door. I felt that it could really happen, and that I might get to Dylan before he ends the tour. Then on his 56th birthday, the news it stung just like a dot. Critically ill with an infection, which settled right around his heart. He thought he was going to see Elvis, but fortunately the news was premature. This only made it more urgent that I had to get to Dylan before he ends the tour. Remember that day in October when he performed for the Pope? Was he again changing his religion? To that question, it was no. I now believe in Hank Williams and that organized religion is a bore. In order to discuss this more further, I had to get to Dylan before he ends the tour. Seven years of waiting, new music finally did arrive. Time out of mind, another classic. Its theme was dark and yet alive. At any rate, it got me thinking. We never know who is all. Now I knew for certain 
I had to get to Dylan before he is no more.